Yo guys, what's up? Shatter here. Welcome back to Kenji. So, today, we are trying to set up our infrastructure, for the most part. Namely, um, the stone mine, so we can get all of our stone-related, or um, rather, our construction component-based resources. Then, also, we will set up, I think, yes, there's the, the iron resource, so we'll set up that part as well. And, wait, why did I put them, that is weird, why did I put that over here, that makes no sense. I should have put that over there, that makes way more sense. I think I mistakenly thought that this was the um, iron mine. So we'll have to, let's see, we can, I think we can just dismantle these. We haven't put anything in them anyway, so that's fine. And then we'll just put them over here. So we're basically gonna have like three little hops in our outpost. There's like one over here, one over here, and then one in the middle. The middle is probably where the most buildings are gonna be, but we'll see. Okay. So, there is the iron refinery. We're gonna put that... Uh, let's see, where are we gonna put that? So, the, the, the rotation is a bit weird sometimes. Sometimes the th these things will stand extremely tilted. Um, let's see, change slope. Ah, okay, like so. Is that the same? Yeah, that's the same. It is, yeah, kind of difficult to place it correctly. But yeah, as long as the people can get to it, it's going to be fine. Now we also need the storages. We need storage for iron ore. And we'll need the storage for iron plates. Now we can actually put that on the same side. That's going to be fine. There we go. Good. So now what we need is we need a lot of iron plates and we also need some more... Uh, uh, I think we need some more building material. At least one more we'll need. So we'll we'll go and check out. I'm not quite sure if if we checked out all the uh, the different locations for the um, the shops, you know, for for building materials. So we might want to. What is going on? What's going on? Get out of me way! Let me see. Fighting bandits again, are they? Let's go and help them. Right? Hungry bandits. Committing crime! So, what does that mean? The character's been caught committing an assault. He might end up with a bounty on his head if he can't vanish. Well, we'll attack him. Attack! <laughs> there we go. 4v1. Waste him! Look at them with their huge planks. Oh, Jesus, and we still get beaten. <laughs> Come on, guys. Really? Oh, what is that? Is that... That's a dust bandit. He's fighting the hungry bandit. That's kind of interesting. That's insane. You see, you see how weak we still are? We get nothing done. That's amazing. <laughs> okay. Anything here that is interesting? No. Alright, let's get these uh, guys to the outpost too. Um, we'll really quickly check if the bar has any building material or and steel plates. And or steel plates, I should say. They do have nothing of the sorts. Okay, fair enough. Then we'll just head over and hope that Raggy has a better time finding these things. Come on, son. Hello. Ah, wonderful. Well, you know what? We have some money, so we'll take a bit of everything here. There we go. The thing is, as, as soon as we have set up the um, the iron, or no, the stone mine, we can start, you know, making progress. We can at least get some building materials, and that's good. Now, Molly will be on... On the copper, 
which reminds me we should also put down just for efficiency so we can just leave them um, mining basically we should put down a storage copper or like right here somewhere along here. maybe not right on the entrance but something like that yes perfect so then we can just leave them alone with uh, with that copper. Actually, let me build that real quick. Yoink. There we go. Come on. There it is. So now if we give her the job operating machine copper resource, as soon as there is five copper in this, she will move over to that storage and put it the five in there. Which will help with, um, well, it will make it possible that she just automatically mines for a prolonged time without ha us having to check on her. So that's good. There's the stone mine. So generally what we could do, we could just, um, I think the best way to do this is assign the job stone processing and then the stone mine. Which means if there is stone in here, they will turn it into building materials. If there is not, they will mine. I think that's the, probably the best thing to do. Now we still have... Oh, we still have one steel plate. That actually means we can complete this thing here. The uh, building material storage, which we'll need as well. There we go. Click. Beautiful. See, they automatically put, or he automatically put his building materials into here. Which, he, he, they seem to do that when you have jobs enabled. If you have that, they will try to put all the, um, their the items in appropriate containers that they find. Which is kind of interesting. Okay. So I think one other thing that we should do with, uh, the building material, um, we should have at least one research station out here. You know? So we can um, research from here. I don't think it matters which one, but I mean, might as well go for the, the big one. Or is that... I don't think... Hold on. Do we have in the, in the town, do we have a big one there? Let's see. We can actually check that. Weapon melting. I think we already have... Uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we already have a bigger tech bench. So it might just be sufficient for us to put down a small one here, in theory. Yeah, let's do that for now. That's it's gonna be fine for now. So let's get a small research bench. Right here. Let's go. This should have exactly the right material. There we go. So now what I will do is I will go back and forth between um, uh, the hop and this place and we'll try to take some stuff with us. Uh, mainly I want to get the mattresses and, and these things. And uh, put them down in the new place. We'll see what what else we can take with us. Again, maybe I will just leave the, the level 2 workbench here. Just so we have the, the tech building, you know. Okay. So these, I should just be able to dismantle these. And they will just leave back the sleeping roll. Of which we... Oh yeah, no, we have five. That's actually alright. go. We should just be able to pick those bad boys up. Oh, and we have one of these. That's perfect, because with that we can make a chest on the other side and then just take all of these with us. Just in case. That's a that's a good idea. Let's see, what, what do we get back if we dismantle um, this thing? Two iron plates. I'm not even sure if that is... Is that correct? Did we spend two iron plates on this or did we spend more? I'm not even sure. Alright, let's get back. I'm gonna do something. So here we see we're already getting building material done. Now, 
This is not the most efficient stone mine. Could probably be better, but still, it's pretty good. For what it is. I think it needs two stones per building material that you need to mine, as far as I can remember. Where is... Oh, no, Raggy is going the right way. Good. Let's see how Molly is doing. Yeah, see, there's already copper in here. So basically, what we can do now is we mine just the whole day long. We can just leave her there. And then in the evening, we just go to that container, pick up everything, and go to the bar. Really simple. Which is lovely, if it works out that way. So, let me put the two iron plates on here. We need a few more before we can actually make our own plates. And we might need more workers, too. So, yeah, we'll have to check that. Now, also, really quick, wanted to check. Um, so, we have water, green and arid. The problem is I'm not quite sure if we have any arid plants to put down. I don't know what plants we could put down here. But it would be kind of good to have some, you know, to, to create maybe food. I, I haven't really used farming before, so I have to kind of figure out how that works. Okay, let us put down our camp beds. Let's, let's put them all like in one line so we can all sleep next to each other. Like a big slumber party. One, two, three, four, and five. Beautiful. Look at that. Let's put all of these down. Ah, that looks comfy, doesn't it? <laughs> right. So, what is the next thing we should put down? Oh, yeah, the chest. Let's get that going. The general... what was it called? That's some special name. Oh yeah, general storage chest. Let's put that like that. Just add the material, come on. How high is this engineering right now? 16. We also will need power out here because as you can see, now we have power zero because we don't um, have access to the power that is generated in the hub with these windmills. So what we'll have to do is we have to... Oh, didn't we... Oh, I think we didn't research anything when it comes to power. Yeah, okay, then we'll have to research that first then. And we'll have to put one of these, uh, basically one of these down. As they have. They only have one as well. So we're not going to be... That l less that, that much less efficient than they are. Now later we probably can put down more efficient generators, but we'll see. Okay, let's dismantle that thing. Oh, that's interesting. This one needs to be like disem disabled, disassembled, dis dis dismantled by hand, so to speak. He needs to actually work on it. Very strange. Let's see what kind of material will be left after this. Ah, we get the steel bar, steel bar bars back. That's nice. I appreciate that. Yeah, you know what? We'll just dismantle this as well. Can we sell the house? <laughs> oh well. No, we just leave it here, just as a, like an emergency emergency shelter, basically. Get those iron plates. Um, and yeah, we need to get the fabric, that, the book. The book is going to be super important. I think cactuses, we can, we could use these to maybe plant some stuff. Um, let's see. We stand under farming. Cotton rice with cactus farming. Oh yeah, see, we need a Oh, we need wheat straw farming, do we? And then we can go into cactus farming. I guess cactus farming would work. C crop suitable for dry environments. Yeah, indeed. So... Wheat straw. We'll have to check if we can find any wheat straws. We don't have any here. I don't even know how these look like. 
Maybe we'll have to go to the hive or something. Maybe they have something along those lines. Or maybe the bar does. I doubt it, but... Bolts... Chainmail sheets... Don't see anything that matches that description. Let me get some more of these. Yeah, okay. Let's move over to our little quaint town. Okay, let's speed this up. How is this production going? Ooh, look at that! We already got a good amount of building materials. Sweet! This works fine. We'll need some more workers if we want to actually run all the mines at the same time. But if we want to do that, we'll also need... You know, a steady supply of food, which I haven't quite figured that out yet. In my other save game, I also have to get basically mine a lot of copper and then switch that out for uh, for food, generally speaking, is what I'm doing at the moment. So, probably at the start we'll have to do kind of the same. Keep that holy book in here, just, just in case somebody wants to, you know, be... Get on our mean side. We'll just have to remember that it's here and that we need to pick it up if we talk to the uh, the Holy Nation dicks. You know which one I mean, right? Oh, I have one steel plate. One steel plate short of completing this thing. But I think he had some more steel plates at the bar, so we'll just go back and grab these. And then I think we'll have enough um, building materials for now, so we can switch Rocka, Logan and Oron over to the steel manufacturer, basically, once we have that. Because steel plates is a lot better to, to create, I feel. Because then you can start creating weapons, and if you have a sufficient, like, weapon grades, um, you know, the research weapon grades, if you have a sufficient amount of that, You'll actually be able to create pretty good weapons that you can sell. Um, in the other safe, um, I, right now I'm creating basically always the same weapon. It's a katana, but I think it's called a hiltless katana. And that sells pretty good. That sells for like 1,500 per piece. And you can make one in like five hours. So per day I can crank out like two, maybe sometimes three of these, depending if there's bandits harassing me or not. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet. We'll see if we can get to that the same level here. But generally, it's good to have iron plates um, because you will be able to create your own um, weaponry. Because right now, we have an iron club that although I mean, all our weapons are pretty bad. I mean, even these that we created with the reflitted blade are... Not that good. And Oron's weapon is also pretty sh 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 shitty, actually, as well. So it's 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 an added benefit as well. And we'll also be able to like craft some armor. We have some fabric and some leather, so we can do that as well. So yeah, it's gonna be good. Also, I wanna hang some lamps in this thing so we can go and get some research done overnight. Just see, Molly needs some. Ah oh, no, Molly still has food. Good. Can... Oh, Molly has a lot of books in her inventory as well. We have a lot of research books. We should be able to um, get quite a lot of research done with this. There we go. Oh yeah, I just remembered. I probably need to get power first before I can put lights in. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. Uh, let's see. We have nothing queued so far, so we need to go Wind Generator Theory first. Um, I want to have makeshift walls too, and mounted crossbows. And, oh, and then we'll, we'll need to put some of these in. But yeah, um, the Wind Generator Theory is the most important one right now. Yeah, I think tomorrow, at the start of the next time, we'll switch these guys over. Look at the amount of materials they've created. And now what I can do is basically this, and they will automatically put it in here. So we always know where our... 
building materials are. Pretty sweet. And now I just disable the chops, and then I can just move them around. If I don't do that, I will always try to run back to their to their jobs. They're very, very um, diligent workers, you know. They always go back and complete their job, basically, if they can. Okay, sleepy, sleepy time for most of you. Uh, right, Molly. It is time to gather our spoils of the day. Oh, not bad, not bad. Fifteen. Um, and go and sell that stuff. Well, actually, because I know a wind generator needs copper, I think it needs five. I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it needs about five copper to, to, uh, to build, basically. So we'll, we'll keep those there and... Ah, there it is, wind generator. So we should be able to place this. Now, in my other save game, I had a little bit of a bug at certain times. When I placed the wind generator too close to my house, I wasn't able to enter the house anymore. So we'll um, save here real quick. Always check that it's the right save. I should back these up, shouldn't I? Um, and then we'll get a wind generator probably put it like right at the front here right I don't think there's any like advantages and disadvantages depending where you place it I don't think there is I might be wrong but I don't think it matters too much you know from the oh it, from the amount of energy it's getting I think that looks pretty sweet okay and we can still enter and exit so that's good we'll get that let's see Five copper, yeah. So that's correct. Oh, and there you can see the wind power. Current amount of wind operating wind speed is between 2.24 miles per hour and 11.18. So if it's too fast, you can operate with the, the thingy, apparently. Which makes kind of sense, I think. Probably would just rip off the blades if it was too fast, wouldn't it? So it also would be a good idea to get some more steel plates, huh? Let me sell those. We're on 14,000 again. Uh, let's also grab some, some tiny bits of food. And make a little dash over to the quote-unquote rebel base. I'm not quite sure what kind of rebels you are, but that's okay. You're somebody's enemy, and I, as long as I don't know who, who it is, I don't care. Yeah, one steel plate. Not, not, not much. Not much. The plank. We already have that. I would like to get a katana blueprint. It costs like four, five, or six thousand to actually get that blueprint. But katana blueprint is pretty cool because then we will be able to create these hiltless katanas, which seem to sell quite nicely. There we go. Added the material. You can work a little bit more. And then we just... Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Just let him work a bit more. There we go. Go to sleep. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> it's like summer camp. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is, is kind of cool, actually. Okay. So, I think... We'll quit their jobs here and send them over to the iron mines next first day in the morning. She will remain on copper and I think Raggy will mostly do research at this point. It's probably the best. Um, let's see, weapon melting. Oh, that's cool. That's a furnace that allows you to melt down um, weapons of enemies that you basically looted to make iron ore. That's I, f I find that kind of sweet. Uh, what else do we have here? Improved stone mining. Um, what else do we have? Improved stone mining too. Iron plates too. Let's just get these. Let's also get... What else do we get? Beds. Beds are cool. Let's get these too. So we got a lot of things to research now. And I do want to create walls. The thing is, walls can apparently be created at quite a lot of places, even if you technically cannot walk there. You just have to get near enough to 
place um, the materials in the walls and that will work. So I, it would be kind of cool to have like walls all along the cliff side here, you know what I mean? It doesn't need to have a gate at the beginning in my opinion, but um, yeah. Alright, let's work this iron. It's so nice that we have three people who can work it at the same time. Uh, Molly, you have a job to do as well. And Raggy, off to research land. And I think as soon as we have the makeshift walls, I will try to place some down, just for the heck of it. Here we get to it. There we go. Creating is our first iron plates. Self-produced. And this will go faster and faster, the, the faster, the, the better they get in laboring. Now these three are not that good in laboring yet. They are not quite close to Molly and uh, Raggy, but they will get there. And then we'll really have a good amount of uh, speed when it comes to actually creating things. Let me just check that everybody still has food. It looks like it. Ah, no. Okay, not everybody does. Let Molly run over real quick and get some food to these people. Uh, Oron would need something. And I think we'll also give something to Logan, perhaps. Actually, she doesn't have that much food herself, does Oh! We, we, we had the wrong character. There we go. Yeah, that will work for today at least. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to, to finally be creating a settlement. Because this is... Honestly, I was kind of afraid at first. But again, I was kind of, you know, trying to explore the game a bit in my off-camera save game. And it is really the most exciting part. So I'm getting more confident in what to do. You know, where to go. It is it is really cool. I mean, I've not ventured anywhere on this map. We basically, even in the other save, I basically have been around here. That's it. I don't know what, what down here is. I don't know what this is. That. This one. That one. Whatever that is supposed to be. I have no idea. So, and I have also, I cannot really get a, a sense of scale on this map. I don't know how long you have to walk, like from one way to another. To basically, you know, um, how 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 much time it will take. So it's very hard for me to to, you know, to to guess the scale. It's, it's really hard. All right, let me um, grab the iron. Oh, I also have some copper in my inventory still. Oh, we haven't added it to the the wind farm yet. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Come on, come on. Continue building, my friend. Oh, now we have added everything. Very good. Only need three more plates, then. That is good to know. These guys will make their, their best to create these as quickly as possible. Good. Good. Back to the research. Yeah, you know what, I will do the, the wall planning. I will do that next time. Now I just want to finish the uh, the cool wind turbine. Which is really cool to look at, by the way. Because it, it seems to turn with the wind. So you can al always kind of see from which direction the wind comes. Really, really cool details in this game, I have to say. You could also basically put these in, in, in the inventory over here as well. But eh. It's alright. It's kind of amazing. We haven't had any problems so far. No bandits, no uh, raids, nothing. It's almost boring. I think. I hope I didn't just jinx myself here, by the way. <laughs> because that's like Death's Calling card, right? If you go something like, Oh, this has been easy so far. No problem. <laughs> yeah, that's the way you will die. That will be like famous last words or something. Okay, we need to add one more plate. I'm not quite sure how that works. Sometimes he adds all the material in one go, and sometimes he doesn't. Not sure why that is. Sometimes he adds it like one by one. Really weird. There we go. You see how that turned immediately? Because the wind is apparently coming from this direction. Sweet. It's also not that strong at the moment. 77%. Okay, but now we have power. And now we'll be able to um, get lights done in here. We'll ca we can place down a cooking stove. And there's a lot of other things we can place down. But we, we need to get our, our generation, our, our 
iron plate generation up by a bit. So yeah. But I think this has been a, a good session for now. Um, next time we'll really focus on improving our infrastructure and getting this base up and running and we'll place some walls. Mostly cosmetic, I guess, but still, it's gonna be cool as hell. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.